Welcome to this episode of Rambling with Phil. In this episode, we head to a little place called Smoke and Jay's Barbecue in Beatty, Nevada. This is just a little sampling of what they had. Smoking Jay's barbecue. Try the beef brisket. Very good. Tried it without the sauce first. See what the real flavor is. Now we got the pulled pork. Not bad. Onion ring. Maybe I shouldn't have taken the entire onion ring in one bite. It tastes pretty good. All right, we're gonna try the sauce, see what the sauce tastes like. Seems like your basic barbecue sauce. Also some pickles, raw onions. It's not the sweet raw onions. That's for sure. Try some jalapeno mac and cheese. You can taste the jalapeno, but it's not, not like really spicy. And there's a little corn in it too. I just received a piece of sausage. Very good. Oh, a little bit of bite. Jalapeno cheddar sauce. Yeah, a little bit of heat. More heat than the mac and cheese. It's good stuff. That's a good place to stop after Death Valley. We cheated Death Valley. Unlimited drinks. Okay, so wanted to do a little uh, summary of this shaky road. Actually, what I really wanted to do was do a little summary of our dinner at Smoke and Jay's Barbecue. Hopefully this video is not too shaky because this road is. So we had just gone, we had just finished up at uh, Death Valley and we decided we needed gas in Beatty, Nevada. And so we were already in Beatty, Nevada and we were hungry because it was like almost six o'clock, I think. And there's really not a whole lot between there and getting home, so. Yes. There was like yes, three and a half, four hours or something to drive yeah. from there to back to the Airbnb. So anyways, as you would have already seen, uh, Joanne and I had the barbecue combo. Joanne added the sausage link. It's, uh, what is it, jalapeno and cheese? Jalapeno cheddar. Jalapeno yes. cheddar. And the food was really good. Remy had the cheeseburger, which I believe she said tasted good. Yes, I think we did. Okay, I also had the onion rings, which I thought were pretty decent. And the jalapeno mac and cheese. Yeah, the jalapeno mac and cheese was pretty good. So I think my favorite meat out, out of the barbecue uh, platter was the brisket. Um, the uh, had like a really good smoke flavor, but not like overly smoky. The uh, pulled pork was pretty good, although after eating the uh, brisket for a little while, the pulled pork did not taste as good, maybe because the uh, brisket tasted really good. You were more of a brisket guy. I am yeah. more into pulled pork, so while I thought the brisket was good, I enjoyed the pulled pork more because that's just my, my vibe. Vibe vanilla, sausage, yeah. and it was really good. So I guess what I'm saying is, the barbecue was really good, no matter how you slice it. Um, one thing that normally most people don't, I guess, make a review of at the bar at a restaurant is that if you really got to go, the bathrooms are really clean. So just be aware of that. They are really clean. So um, like kudos to them for making really clean I bathrooms. Mean, nice, new, crisp, clean. Not yeah. what I expected at all out of, you know, barbecue joint and I mean it, um, it was like counter service you know 
which I wasn't necessarily expecting when we walked in there, but it worked out just fine, and the bathrooms were definitely on it. Yeah. So, and, and I mean, the dining room was really nice, too. I mean, everything was clean, looked fairly new. Uh, I guess I don't really know how old the uh, restaurant is, but... Um, you know, if you're looking for a place to eat, looking for some good barbecue, you might want to consider this place, Smoke and Jay's Barbecue. It is, you know, a place that we went to, and I think we would go back yeah. if we're in the area, like in Death Valley, and want to get cheap gas also in Nevada compared to California. <laughs>